just want to remind us, you know, as the preacher preach about a broken world and the solution. You know, it's one thing about realizing that we are broken, maybe some disappointment in our life or whatever, but every preacher must carry a broken heart. If the preacher preach like that, come on, if the preacher preach like that, he said the world is broken. That's what he said. He preached it very hard. It means that there must be an automatic broken heart of the preacher. The Bible says God will not despise a contrite and a broken spirit. Are you there? And that's what's lacking. What's happening don't move us. The broken world, the condition of the world don't move us. Don't look at what's happening. Look what the beast doing. And we upset when they preach against the beast. Look at what's happening. Brokenness is missing from the church. Brokenness is missing from the pulpit. How uh, can I tell you? If you are broken, you won't fight against anti-beast preachers. Because it's what caused them to preach like that. Are you hearing me? Since 2021, when they came and afflict the world, afflict, they came with dear affliction and say they're fixing affliction. My heart has been broken. I, I lie not to you, I say it everywhere I go. You're looking at a broken heart preacher for the past four years. Broken, broken. When you look and see veterans, men of God, women of God, Bowing, gone double, divided loyalty. When last you ever hear them preach against the beast, the mean strong man <laughs> that God said would be would cause the world to break, would damage the churches, damage the pulpit, damage the souls. Hmm. And our heart is just normal. It's just normal. Listen, you lost the call of God on your life. I'm going to be a man of God and say it. You may have done great in the past. You mean the condition of the world now? The condition of the church? The same man of God will tell you that in Europe is tens of thousands of churches closed since 2021 and because we are in a church which never was closed we don't see what happening out there it's a broken world and we find no heart to go after the one who caused it all we are we ready to find the, the faults of those who have a broken heart. I've seen of late the, 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 the most recent fad is to seek and find the faults you can dig from an anti-beast preacher. They dig at it. They try to find the past. You have preachers ready to announce people pass to cancel their to cancel their present i'm telling you i told you the other just you were sitting right here and i tell you as a pastor if if a wife and a husband come for counsel anyone who orders bring the pass up their partner they are the one wrong present oh. let me repeat it i'm teaching you pastors two of them come you were sitting did i say it yes, you, you got it Wife and husband come to you, they're having a problem. Listen to the one who bring up the past the most. It's their wrong. So when preachers now want to cancel people with a bad past, but now their eyes are open and they are preaching, they identify the beast, they identify Jezebel, they identify Belial, they identify the masters, they identify the mistress they identify the subordinates they identify the minions now 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 
and all they can find what they were. Who wrong? <laughs> the wrong bishop. The one wrong is the one now who is saying, look at their past and forget their present. Brokenness. And those of us of the past, we are so well developed and trained. We have lost a heart of brokenness. In 1985, when AIDS hit the earth, <laughs> I was a child of God in church. But AIDS hit the earth, that's tough stuff. That broke the world. And instead of pastors with a broken heart, begin to preach against what caused it. My Lord. <laughs> They begin to be double in the pulpit and appease everything until instead of instead of what caused it stopping and, and, and stopping the AIDS it increase. Well, right now the beast is doing the same thing. Right now the, the beast have the church broken, shaken, pastors afraid. Listen, walk out of the street. And see if you find 10 Christians and ask them, when last you hear a message on the beast? In your church. They don't tell you none for the past three years. We wrote a book called Anti-Beast Manual. And one of our brothers on his job, he carried an anti-beast manual. And he went to a part of his job and mistakenly left, left the book on a table. When he came back, Somebody was reading the book and saying, A book like this, anti beast manual? Are you serious? This is available for my being going to church. I heard nothing of this. And we who have been exposed, that's what we want to leave the people ignorant of this wicked spirit. And night and day, all we have on our mind. Is to pull down those who preach against it. I experienced it because kind of, they tried to come into my ears against anti beast preachers. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke every one of you who tried to damage any anti beast preacher because of their past. They're living for God now. And God opened their eyes, my God, to stand in the gap. And all you can find is the past. Is you wrong? I thought you ought to know who wrong already. Come on. Is you wrong? You could be a bishop, doctor, something. Is you wrong? My God. Look at the past Paul had. And he became the greatest. Present. Conscious of what's going on. He became. That's why when he came, he do, he do far more than the apostles. Because he was broken. You understand me? You understand broken? The mighty men of God. The mighty women of God. Some in the army. Oh my God, we are there. Divided. Some of them have become errand men. For Jezebel. Jezebel instruct them. Give them guidelines. And tell them who to, who to slander. Who to bring down. Who to put down. And announce their pass wrong. And like you knocks, carry Jezebel. I don't speak because I want to speak. I'm at broken. At broken. And the great men and women today, not because I'm in how many body, but I'm at broken. It's bad. But praise God. God is a broken and a contrite. You know, his brother He-Man here, he left. Glory to God. I hear God, God, there are some people that, that God calling because their heart broken. All, all are going on in that young man, he's going on so normal, he's heart broken. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's why I wanted him tonight to pray for him. Come here, young man. Come on. Glory to God. God looking for some heart broken watchmen. Some heart broken. My God. Glory to God. I just want to pray for you. Because I know you carry that heart. 
and God looking for that, begging God for them. I'm begging God for some heartbroken creatures right now. I, I said, God, I remember three weeks ago, I said, God, send a man. I said, I, I, no, I said let me tell the exact words I say. I said, send us a man. And I see it begin to happen. I see, I see, but, but when it happened, when it happened, he come like Paul. He's a woman first, I see. Rise to it. And when she preach, you know, <laughs> the amount of foundation shake. Shake. I'm telling you. I say, you are one of the watchmen. God, young man, come over. No, stand behind him. Come right here, sir. Come on. Because the same night I begin to lay hand on people, and he came up. I just remember right now. Watchmen! Ten watchmen God need now. What record of great things in the past is now. Did I say who right? right? Is the one talk about now, right? The one talk about the past is they wrong. Is the no right? How <laughs> people were doing wrong in the past and doing good now. And because the, the past was so bad, once beaten, twice shy. They beat upon people at that pass. I don't, I don't want to do what come in my mind to do right now. So, Father, there are more, but for tonight, you know, Father, move upon these watchmen, Lord. Give them the heartbreak, the spiritual heartbreak, and nobody get around them. Lord, they have got to stand against the beast. Lord, they see the leader speak against the beast, and they're trying to do otherwise. They're trying to do otherwise. They see their visionary preach against the beast, preach against Jezebel, and they rebel, trying to do otherwise. Disrespectful with their ministry. They am going to do otherwise. And want to remain under the same ministry. Lost their brokenness. I rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus. Lord, I raise up these two young men in the name of Jesus. Man, and I raise up that young man who was here tonight. Lord, move upon them, Lord. Give them the broken heart. Give them the broken heart for the world. Give them the brokenness, God, that the preacher preach about tonight. That the world is broken and need some broken Ooh, preachers. Need some watchmen who will not hold their peace. According to Isaiah 62. Huh? The watchmen will not hold their peace until their heart is mended with souls coming to God. Until their heart is mended with repentance at the altar. Until their heart is mended when the beast is rebuked and cast out of the church. When Jezebel is brought down, it's thrown down. Raise them up, Lord. Raise up those who are even watching. God, uh, and we didn't see them, Lord, but you're moving upon them. Uh -huh. They are broken in their heart with the condition of the body of Christ. They say, it can't go that way. It can't go that way. It can't go that way. Lord, move upon them. Touch them, Jesus. Make them mighty watchmen like Ezekiel chapter 3. We we'll say, if the watchmen won, not the righteous, and something go wrong with the righteous then their blood will be mm, will be on their shoulder lord we drop all those preaching we drop all those scriptures but lord i bring them back and i lay them on these men come young man come young man come young man in the name of jesus in the name of, i release this watchman heartbreak upon these men Nobody control them. Nobody tell them what to preach. Nobody influence them. Mother, father, sister, brother, wife, uncle, bishop, doctor. No one influence them what to preach because their heart is broken. Their heart is broken. And you raise them as watchmen. Watchmen that Lord, they see what's going on. They see the condition of the world, the condition of the body of Christ, my God, and their heart, my God.
God, uh, shaking the night. Uh, my God, at this condition, Ooh, move upon them, Lord. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> You're preaching it. They, they, won't, they won't be able to handle it. They're going to find every fault you have. Oh, 50 years ago, if you know you're not 50 yet. Shagabaka. Run to your seats. Shagabaka. They're going to dig every fault from 100 years ago. No, you are young men. Run to your seats, everybody. My God. My God. 